Hey you travelers and welcome back to A Wanderlust for Life. Today we are going to show you what to eat in Gothenburg, Sweden. Basically it's going to be the best traditional Swedish foods to try in West Sweden. So let's get into it. When you think of Sweden, you probably think of fika. When you think of fika, you think of cinnamon rolls or cardamom rolls. But today we are all about the cinnamon roll and this is the world's biggest cinnamon bun. And it is here at Cafe Husaren and it is just absolutely massive. It's as big as my head, which Sean wanted to show by me putting it in front of my face. Well, that's where your face now. Fine. All right, this is how big it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is a traditional Swedish cinnamon roll, and it's covered in this, I forget what kind of sugar you call this, but it's a big chunky sugar. So I'm gonna give it a bite. Mm. Mm. So I think this is actually kind of a combination of a cinnamon bun with cardamom in it. So you get a little bit of that cardamom without the full punch of it and it's just so delicious. Now you can also sit inside, but it's very busy today. We just wanted to make sure that we get a cinnamon roll because I'm just obsessed with them. Actually, fun fact, at Ikea you can buy frozen Swedish cinnamon rolls and they're the best thing ever and I've been eating them all week. <laughs> I also want to give a shout out to Eric and Allison of The Endless Adventure because we found out about this place from them. Unfortunately, they didn't get one that day, so I am so sorry, guys. So when you come back to Gothenburg, you got to get here early and get this. And if you call us, we'll meet you up here. <laughs> the most important thing to eat in Sweden, specifically West Sweden, are the big five, or the top five. And that's all seafood. You have lobster, crayfish, shrimp, mussels, and oysters. And we're starting off here in the building, Jeska Skorka. I totally butchered it, so sorry, Swedes. Um, but we're actually in the restaurant Gabrielle, and we're having crayfish and mussels, and it's gonna be amazing, because we also have local Swedish wine. So first we're starting off with grilled crayfish. That looks amazing. Oh my god. It's so good. I've never really had crayfish. That's really awesome. It's almost like a cross between lobster and crab. Because I'm not a big lobster fan, so. This is absolutely perfect for somebody like me. Alright, now we're getting on some mussels. This is with white wine and garlic and a ton of parsley. It looks perfectly cooked. Oh, and let me show you a little trick. So when you eat one, Use this. Play <laughs> pack. So we did two of the top five things, or the top five seafoods that you should definitely have here in West Sweden, and that restaurant was phenomenal. Highly recommend it to anyone. The staff is awesome, and um, the people were just so nice. There were two older ladies who sat next to us, and they got the fried herring with mashed potatoes and lingonberries, which we weren't really sure was super tr traditional, but they said, oh, this is this is definitely traditional Swedish, and um, here, try some, and we didn't, but I was just like that is so nice like the people here already were already just blown away by West Sweden so bring it on well shrimp is already in the big five the top five of the seafood that you should eat here um, the shrimp sandwich is actually an item of its own that you have to try we are here at heaven 23 and it's on top of this tower and this is considered widely the best shrimp sandwich in the city so it has rye bread mayonnaise eggs 200 grams of hand peeled shrimp and I think there's some caviar or something on top um, it's massive so Sean and I are actually gonna share this um, but this is definitely a place to get a good view and a good meal and take one of the best things to eat in Gothenburg off your list I'm trying a small bite. This is just the bread, a little bit of mayonnaise, the shrimp, the caviar, and I think uh, dill on top. Oh. Mm. oh, 
of it together. Awesome. Mm. But try to get a lot of something in a bite. Like the shrimp itself is fine, but it's really like the whole sandwich, everything coming together and making a really good flavor profile. This is really good. As I mentioned, one of the things that you have to try when you're here in West Sweden are oysters. So we have that tonight and we're gonna give them a try and they gave us some really good sauces as well. Mm. So good. <laughs> Super fresh, not super um, seawatery, just really good and tender. And they have like this special sauce to put on top that has a couple fruits and vinegar and stuff inside. It makes all the difference. And they have little dill on top. Apparently, they just love dill up here. And I have to say, I really love it too. So we're here at a food truck park and we are trying the haul special. And we got it all separate, but we pile it all on here. So this is a British um, sausage. He has a bunch of different flavors. He chose one for me, that's pork, and he said it works the best with all the toppings. And we're gonna put it all together and give it a shot. Okay, this is massive. Ah! I also wanna give a shout out to The Endless Adventure, and that's where we found out about this place. All right. Mm. Mm. That was really good. Like the crunch of the, um, the onions and the tartness and the sourness of the pickle and the creaminess of the mashed potato and the just wonderful flavor of the lingonberry makes this sausage just so delicious. I can't even, like who thinks to put all this together? It's just so good. <laughs> Another must try food here in West Sweden is sushi, right? It makes sense, fresh fish. So we're here at an omakase and basically we are going to sit down and the chef is going to make us whatever he feels like making tonight. So let's go get eating. Mm. I eat this every day. I could. That omakase experience was amazing. The chef's name is Alvin. He's from here in Gothenburg, but his dad owned a sushi shop. So he went and learned all about it in the US because he was so interested in it. And that restaurant experience is definitely one to have. It feels exclusive, but it's not. The pairings with the wine was amazing, but I don't feel like you have to get them. The food was just extremely fresh, good, and his flavor profiles are perfect. So please, please, please do yourself a favor. If you're in Gothenburg and you can, take that dinner and have a good time. <laughs> for joining us on this foodie adventure here in Gothenburg. These are the must try foods here in Gothenburg, Sweden. And really the west part of Sweden has just such a cool food culture and so many little foodie adventures to have. So if you enjoyed this video as much as we loved eating through it, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already because there's much more to come. And we will see you next time guys. Bye.